Hi, my name is Georgia and this is Nonchalant where we talk about everything fashion and styling. In today's episode, I'm going to be talking through the five non-negotiables you must be packing if you're heading to Europe this year for summer. This is everything that I would be packing and how to style it. I think it is so important for you to be packing pieces into your wardrobe that you're actually going to wear. One, because you only have limited space in your suitcase. And two, you shouldn't have clothes in your wardrobe that you're not wearing and if you do that is something we can discuss in another episode when i'm packing for an overseas trip or a little staycation i'm always making sure that i'm packing pieces that i know are going to be interchangeable with the rest of my wardrobe my travel wardrobe and also that i know i can just throw on feel comfortable in i'm not going to be fussing about too much and i can just feel really good in what i'm wearing and my outfits are always elevated i'm going to be boycotting the obvious summer essentials like swimwear cotton trousers a tank top not even going to mention those i am only going to be talking about five non-negotiable items that are really going to help elevate your travel wardrobe i am going to jump straight into it first is a blue shirt a blue shirt in particular i feel like is super versatile blue is one of those colors that almost is like a neutral in the wardrobe so it really does go back with everything you can definitely create a lot of different outfits with your blue shirt a blue shirt in particular i feel like is such a great piece to be packing because it goes with everything it's a neutral color i think it's just a bit more versatile and fun as well and it also gives off a bit more of like a high-end vibe i feel like it's classic summer everyone's going to be wearing a white shirt so you can stand out and be a little bit different in your blue shirt when you're traveling you're always sort of getting out doing different things a shirt you can obviously wear to the beach over your swimwear but to Today I have chosen to wear this shirt tucked into my fisherman pants from Mato. These are the cotton fisherman pants in the black. They do multiple different colors. I personally love the black ones because I feel like they're easy for me and I can just style them back with the rest of everything else in my wardrobe. I've tucked the shirt in and really bloused it over and then left the buttons undone a bit giving it more of that relaxed vibe and also it's summer so I probably don't need a button done up at the top because it might just be a little bit too hot for that. So this is the small croissant bag from La Mer in the coated canvas. I have had mine for over a year now and it has worn so incredibly well. I also took this away with me last year traveling and I just feel like this was really the perfect bag and all that I really needed to take. It just fits everything in there. It's secure being a crossbody bag. So I just feel like it's so easy, you're hands-free and you can really just walk around and not be like, holding a million things or having a bag over your shoulder that's just going to get annoying within like the first 24 hours so i really recommend any crossbody bag um but the Le Mer one is what i have and it worked really well for me i mentioned that i do have the cotton canvas you can also get it in the leather but the leather is very soft and i just think when you're traveling you do want something a little bit more durable and something that's not going to get easily caught or damaged while you're traveling maybe save the leather one for your special outfits when you're at home so just make sure you do have a small to medium crossbody bag with you while you're traveling. Just anything that's going to fit your daily essentials. The next essential item that we must be packing is a black dress. And yes, I am talking about a black dress that is a bit more dressy, not a cotton black beach dress. This is such an important item to take just because if you do get a little bit sprung and end up going to a few fancy places for dinner that you didn't initially think that you were going to go to, you always have your backup black dress that you're going to feel confident in and you'll be very happy that you packed this item. The dress I am wearing is by Con de Gasson. I bought this last year and this is also another piece that I took traveling with me and wore it constantly. Because it is sheer, I am wearing a black bodysuit underneath. 
You could also wear like a high-waisted boy leg bottoms or a, and a little bralette. To finish off this outfit, I am just going to use the croissant bag because this is probably the piece that we would be wearing with every outfit regardless. And I think it looks quite chic and understated. Okay, the next essential item to pack is a pair of chunky sandals or any sandal that's just not entirely flat. I think it's fine to pack a flat sandal, but you also want to be making sure you do take a sandal that has a bit more of a footbed and something that is going to mold to your foot a little bit more so that you can walk around on these for most of the day and your feet aren't going to be killing you. I think another very important aspect of this shoe is it has a strap at the back. So you're locked in and you can walk around all day. You're not going to be flopping about and you're secure and you're not going to be complaining at all because your feet don't hurt. They will take up a little bit of space um, in your suitcase but I promise you it'll be worth it I highly recommend taking a lightweight jacket I know sometimes you might think you're going over to summer it's gonna be so hot but it can get really windy and I think it's nice to just have a lightweight jacket in your suitcase I also recommend taking a jacket that is a little bit more of a statement piece I think that if you're gonna take a jacket you're gonna want it to be something that it's like adds to the outfit and elevates your wardrobe rather than something that's just a little bit nothing. I think the key to packing minimal pieces when you're traveling is to make sure you've got some really key statement pieces that are really gonna just bring your wardrobe together and make you feel good. I am wearing a denim jacket from Marquez Almeida. Obviously it's quite dramatic. It has this really big lamb of mutton sleeve. I can also button it up and wear it as a sort of top if I wanted to. For this particular outfit, I have put it over a little white cotton tank. This one is from Floor Floor and I highly recommend this brand for tank tops and t-shirts. They are so good. They wash and wear really well they're fitted and they also complement lots of different body shapes which is always amazing so they are my five non-negotiable items that i would definitely be packing if i was traveling to europe this year for summer like i mentioned at the beginning of the video i have linked similar items to these pieces in the description box below please leave a comment if you found it helpful packing for your summer trip Please also leave a comment if there's anything else that you would like to know how to style. Thank you for watching and supporting our channel.